It's the Esco Let's Go Show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? What's up is Diddy. Finally, someone has came out and stuck up for Diddy, his mom. That's right. Janice Combs, Mama Combs, has broken her silence uh, after her son's arrest for sex trafficking and racketeering. Uh, She shared a statement Sunday through her lawyer, and that statement says, I come to you today as a mother that is devastated and profoundly saddened by the allegations made against my son. Sean Combs. It is heartbreaking to see my son judged not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies. Then she goes on to say, my son is not the monster they have painted him to be, and he deserves a chance to tell his side. Well, he is going to get that chance because he wants to take the stand in court. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Look, I, uh, you know what? Mama Combs is always going to have Diddy's back. We know that. But saying they have painted him as a monster, uh, and nobody did that except Diddy. Did that Diddy did that to himself, yeah. especially with the Cassie video. That's what that's what really turned the tables in this whole thing. Once everyone saw that Cassie video, they were like, "Holy crap!" You know what I mean? That was a shocker, and I think that is what a lot of people started judging him on for real, for real. You know, the the actual uh, violence in that Cassie video. Diddy's mom also goes on to say in this statement, watching the world make jokes and laugh at my son's life crumbling before our eyes is something I can never forget. I mean, how am I not supposed to make jokes about a thousand bottles of baby oil? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mama Cones, but how am I not supposed to make a joke about that? Okay. (laughs) Then she goes on to say, it is truly agonizing to watch the world turn against my son so quickly and easily over lies and misconceptions without ever hearing his side and affording him the opportunity to present his side. Like I said, he's going to present it in court. He wants to go to trial and he wants to take the stand. So uh, we'll get to hear what Diddy has to say whenever that trial starts. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, there's a, a lot more to this statement from Diddy's mom. So you guys can find that online. Make sure you check it out. Uh, somebody else that's speaking out, Drake. Apparently, he has a lot on his mind. He showed up to a nostalgia party in Toronto. Uh, He hit the stage with Mario, and he took time to talk on the mic to his fans, and he said this. My real friends are definitely in the building, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to come to a point in life where people you thought were friends or people you thought were close to you, they might switch up. They might move funny with you. They might stab you in the back. They might do a lot of things to you. I mean, clearly, uh, Drake has had some some time to uh, reflect on that whole uh, Kendrick Lamar beef in the 20v1. And uh, I think now now that the battle is over, you know, he's like, dang, these guys really ain't my friends for real. (laughs) (laughs) You know, that's what I think, because in the heat of the battle, you're you're just caught up. And he was caught up in making like diss tracks. And uh, how am I going to diss for this person? How am I going to clown on this person? How am I going to do this? And now, you know, that uh, all that kind of has died down. And he's sitting down reflecting. He's like, dang, I ain't got no text from Future. You know what I'm saying? Metro Boomin ain't really making me a beat no more. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) Like, what do you think, KJ? Yeah, Drake is definitely realizing. Like, oh, man, this beef is real. This beef is real. I don't have nobody anymore. (laughs) These guys really don't like me. (laughs) They really don't like me. Him singing uh, Beyonce, Me, Myself, and I was just ridiculous. Oh, yeah, that's right. He went into singing Me, Myself, and yeah. I after he gave this speech. So, like, dude, he was just letting all his feelings yeah. out. I mean, I think BBL Drizzy really hurt his feelings, too. <laughs> <laughs> he never got over BBL Drizzy. Did no. you see there? Did you see there's a costume? Yeah, I did uh, see did- that. <laughs> There's a BBL Drizzy costume. It's ridiculous, dude. It looks like him uh, for all the dogs. Yeah. And then, but on the back, it's got a big old uh, booty. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, I can't wait to see the BBL Drizzy costume in person, people. So get out there and get one. <laughs> uh, finally, someone else that's having a tough time with relationships, Kanye West. Is he headed for another divorce? Well, that's the latest Kanye West and Bianca Sensory are reportedly heading for divorce after less than two years of marriage. Of course, they got married in December of 2022, and TMZ says they have hit a rough patch. Kanye has reportedly been telling his inner circle that they broke up a few weeks ago, and he plans to divorce Bianca Sensory and live in Tokyo. I mean, this makes a lot of sense because we haven't seen uh, Kanye and... uh, 
his uh, soon-to-be ex-wife naked in a long time. Exactly. <laughs> I got to admit, I, I've been happy just seeing him by himself. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks. Normally, we you, we see some photos of him and her, like, you know, dressed with barely any clothes on. Yeah. But we haven't seen that in a while. No. So, uh, it, it, obviously, the signs were there that something wasn't right. Uh, now, as far as Bianca, uh, apparently she has gone back to her home, Australia, uh, to spend time with her family and friends, who I'm sure are happy. Remember, they always came out and they just hated yeah. her relationship with Kanye. So they must be happy about this. She's obviously sad. Uh, Kanye looks like he's headed for another divorce, and he plans to live in Tokyo. And maybe this is what motivated him to make his new album, Bully. So if, he, if he's going to give me some uh, uh, new music and a new album, I'll take the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm sorry. I'm sorry he has to go through this again. But hey, I'm excited for the album. Hey, thanks for listening to Celebrity Nonsense with me, Esco. Let's go. Make sure you follow my podcast and uh, check out my YouTube channel. You can subscribe. It's the same. E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. Esco. Let's go.